क्वेश्चन एट ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज से इज दैट ड्रॉ अ रफ स्केच ऑफ टू ट्राइंगल्स सच दैट दे हैव फाइव पेयर ऑफ कॉन्ग्रेंट पार्ट बट स्टिल द ट्राइंगल्स आर नॉट कॉन्ग्रेंट सो दिस इज एक्चुअली अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन बिकॉज इट इन्वॉल्व सम डीप थिंकिंग एंड इंटरेस्टिंगली इन मेनी अदर प्लेसिस दैट आई चेक द सोल्यूशन टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज गिवन इन करेक्टली I will show you one possible correct solution to this problem and if you are aware of more I will definitely encourage you to share those in the comments section okay so I want you to think about this triangle ABC that I have drawn whose smallest side is AC which is equal to 4 cm and then it has this side AB equal to 6 cm and its largest side BC is equal to 9 cm now i want you to imagine magnifying this triangle think of how you zoom pictures on a smartphone similarly imagine that you magnify this triangle by a factor of 1.5 times so you magnify this triangle by a factor of 1.5 times which basically means that each length will get scaled up by a factor of 1.5 and when you do that you will get a triangle like this triangle pqr Let's observe the sides of triangle PQR carefully. Side PR is 6 cm and that's because AC was 4 cm and 4 into 1.5 is 6. So 4 cm became 6 cm. Then we see that side PQ is 9 cm and that's because AB was 6 cm and 6 into 1.5 is 9. So the side length of 6 cm became 9 cm when scaled up. And then QR is 13.5 cm and this is because BC was 9 cm and 9 into 1.5 is 13.5. Okay, so BC when scaled up became 13.5 cm. So if we compare the sides of the two triangles, we see that two pairs of sides are equal. AB is equal to PR, right? So let's write this here. AB is equal to PR and BC is equal to PQ. So BC is equal to PQ. Okay, so BC is equal to PQ. But what about the angles? Well, once again, if you think about zooming pictures on a smartphone, you must have seen that while the size of the picture changes as you zoom, the shape of the picture does not. It stays exactly the same. So in this case also, the magnified triangle PQR will have the exact same shape as the original triangle ABC and hence the angles of PQR will be the same as the angles of ABC. So this means for example that this angle P will be equal to angle A, angle Q will be equal to angle B and angle R will be equal to angle C. So let's write this here, angle P is equal to angle A, then angle Q is equal to angle B and angle R is equal to angle C. So ABC and PQR are two triangles in which two side pairs, two side pairs and three, all the three angle pairs are equal and yet we can clearly see that the two triangles are not congruent. Okay, so that is one possible solution and I want you to think about more, more possible solutions to this question and if you do come up with any, make sure you share them with me in the comment section. So we have completed question number 8. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.